Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes five and six of season two of Is the Order a Rabbit? We're finally about to meet Coco's sister. I am like, nervous, a little excited, and stuff. It's like, am I really going to like her? I think I'm going to love her just as much as I love her little sister because of reasons, and I don't know. I, I think she's going to be a really good person to be a part of this dynamic group and stuff and I hope that she really has fun and she interacts with so many different characters but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three two one go go lay down Cody down I mean, does that mean, like, maybe, like, later on in the show, will we possibly see Coco as hometown? I mean, we've only seen where her parents were. Oh my god, my god, she's so nervous. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Fine, I'll pick you up. Ooh, you are so soft and fluffy. I combed him and stuff, and it, it took maybe about half an hour, maybe an hour, just do it, and he feels so soft, oh my god. Probably close. She's probably walking around, right? <laughs> My computer. It is. So then, it's a possibility she knows Aoyama. Oh my god! Let me guess. You got lost too, right? And bye bye. I know it's going to be fine. Well, she found a rabbit, and now I'm guessing she's lost. I know, but knowing Coco, she's going to get lost no matter what, and then she might find her sister, oh my god! <laughs> we'll have to see. But this is Coco. She's lost. I know, but it had a heart on it. So cute.
I mean, they're both the oldest in this show, so, you know, they gotta become friends. Like, oh my god. My favorite voice actress becoming friends with this voice actress. I don't know who show who voices her, but she's so pretty. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> so I haven't found it. Well, it's okay. She's with Aoyama. She literally looks like her, but with longer hair. Okay. That gives us nothing! You literally should just say, long hair looks just like you. You look so cute together, I can't. I'm gonna cry, oh my god. <laughs> she wrote it. <laughs> You're talking to her. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird friendship between these two. Is she not there? No. No. So like Texas toast, basically? Yeah. And then Lisa. There it is. No, she's actually out looking for you. <laughs> she's so cute. 
No. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Liz, no, it's flour. How to make bread? Liz, no. Oh my god! It, it's Coco's sister, <laughs> guys. That makes so much sense. You, your family is named after coffees or something you drink. Coco, <laughs> Coco, <laughs> Mocha. <laughs> if there's a, if the brother is called Frappuccino, <laughs> what if they name one of them coffee <laughs> or a cappuccino? Cappy. <laughs> Yeah, basically an older version. <laughs> yeah. Is it weird that Mocha kind of sounds like Yui from k -On? I might have to late. I think before I watch episode six, I gotta see who she's voiced by. <laughs> oh. Can we please talk about the fact that she is right there? Oh my god. We already mocha that this best girl quality right there. Cause you know, no matter what. She tries with Coco. Coco like, mm, she she's like, nope, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, but shouldn't y'all call Coco? Yeah, that that's something. But look at that order. That is the guides, the heavens. <laughs> oh, is she making bread. Girl, she's making me hungry, and I gotta wait until after I finish the show overall to eat something. I'm making pancakes, and they're gonna be good as heck. Uh. Oh. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> what else would that have been? Oh my god, could you imagine it with some jam or some butter or something like really sweet with it? Uh, like chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Chia? <laughs> yes. Well, I, I mean, I kind of figured that. I thought she was going to be making it like a permanent stay. When do you make it a surprise? Duh.
so cute. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I would have loved <laughs> if Coco would like open one eye like <laughs> okay so Mocha I like her a lot I mean I love the fact that you know she interacted with Ayama in the beginning and the fact <laughs> oh, I can't even speak right now the fact that you know, <laughs> Ayama was like yeah do a prank on her and the fact that she didn't believe that, you know, she wrote the story. <laughs> That's just what they're going to associate with each other every single time they see each other. So I'm guessing because of the fact is we're now at the halfway point. Well, no, episode six will be at the halfway point. I I'm guessing she's going to be in here for maybe a couple of episodes, like two or three, maybe. That's it. And then she'll leave maybe she'll be in the OVAs because there's like two OVAs that I gotta watch after this I I hope because I like her a lot she is very similar to Kokua in a way but she's more mature in a weird way and she has this very smart interesting amazing personality about her that I really like <laughs> it makes me wonder like what she possibly does she said she's been to the town before and they had like flashbacks in season one and a little bit of season two where they were together as kids and they just look so cute together. So now it makes me wonder if Kokua's whole family will ever possibly come, maybe not in season two, but maybe season three. I, I could see her maybe wanting to work there because at first I thought it was going to be like, yeah, let her stay here for a couple of days and be like, da 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 da. And then eventually, possibly by the last episode where she's going to officially be here and everything, I think that's when she's going to be like, oh, you know what? I just want to stay here. I can be with Coco at time. With Coco, like all the freaking time, plus Chino and Chia and Liz and Shado, hang out with Aoyama, cuddle with Tippy, cuddle with really everyone, Maya, Magu, go to the pool. Da, 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 da. do you know regular old girl things have a job shopping whenever I want you know because I still want an episode again where Liz goes shopping again <laughs> where she wears her hair down because she looks so gorgeous with her hair down like oh my god <laughs> she just reminds me of fucking Azunyan and I miss Azunyan and Kayon so much but I mean yeah I really like her she's really sweet and adorable and yeah, she's just so awesome. If you don't love her, you got a problem. Just like not be if you if you don't love Chino, you got a problem. If you don't hell, if you don't like any of these girls, you got a problem. Why are you watching this show? Like honestly, 
if you don't like any other girls i mean yeah like i know a lot of girls a lot of people don't really like lollies because i mean yeah the reason but aoyama's best girl i mean you know not only because that's my favorite voice actress but aoyama's fun and interesting a little weird at times but you know hey she makes me laugh each one of them have like this special quality that you love about them so much and they all just always make me laugh but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode six Okay, episode six and three, two, one, go. We gotta wait until the opening to talk about what I just found out. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes. Say goodbye to that pride, honey. <laughs> okay so as i said in the previous video i was gonna go ahead and find out whose voice actress she is right she voices freaking darkness alice from sao megamine from freaking um school life and i was just like no i like especially when i found out about the school life when i was like oh my god she voices the teacher who ended up dying and turned into a vampire but then she voices best girl darkness best girl alice let's go like mm, you got freaking store on me who plays kaede and then a whole bunch of other anime that i love but like kaede and then magical girl some other magical girl so this kaede sarami has been in and then freaking darkness slash alice slash megamine slash so many other characters what is this life you got ronko who plays shadow you got freaking Uruaga who plays freaking Kokua. I don't know about Liz or Tiffy or Chino or, or, or Chia, who their voice actresses are. Like, I wasn't expecting all of this. Like, my heart right now, I can't, bruh. Like, oh my god. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I'm hungry. Just after this. Almost time for Oh my god, look at the bread. I mean, you could have just gave the bread away for free, went to the park and gave it to the ducks. Ooh, yeah. Oh my god, count me in. Bread is good as F. Oh, 
Liz, you by yourself. Really? Oh, sad day. Sad day, Shadow. You're going to lose. Freaking start mocha, what the hell? That you're upset about? No! <laughs> she is your little sister material, honey. Yeah, but I feel like you guys are just going around in a circle. <laughs> it's okay, you tried. <laughs> Yeah. See, now it makes the most sense of why, like, her voice, uh, freaking Cocoa's voice, is also in freaking, um, oh my god, the quintessential quintuplets. Because, like, honestly, she reminds me of the one that she voices in this show. Oh, my God. It's so freaking hilarious. She even has the same hair color. <laughs> oh, my God. Tiffy! Oh, no! 
will one day. Honestly, Mocha also looks like one of the quintuplets. My God, she might kind of look like one of my my best girl quintuplet. Also, how old? Like, Mocha has to be in her 20s, right? Because, I mean, she's down there at the bar. Uh, milk. I thought it was alcohol. So, she could be, like, maybe under her 20s. Early 20s, maybe not 21. Or maybe she could be past 21. And, you know, hey, she's just like, I, I want some milk. Let's go shopping. Aoyama somewhere around. I can feel it. <laughs> what? Oh my god, she comes she becomes really depressed. Oh poor baby. Um, I thought you would stay longer. Like, not just really an episode. You'll come back, right? Ah! 
you mean like <laughs> why honey kawa <laughs> monogatari <laughs> I honestly don't want her to go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. CQC. I bet you out of anyone who's probably reacted to this series, no one has been like me every single week freaking out over Aoyama. Like, <laughs> I think I am the only person who possibly freaks out over Aoyama. <laughs> Oh, you still had it. The only thing? Yeah! <laughs> oh. oh my god, she knows.
Yes, can we please have an episode where, she, where Coco goes home? You know, you could just take her with you. Okay, I do kind of hate the fact is that she was only here for like like two episodes. That's it, and it makes me because we only have like what six more episodes left before I'm done with the show. So about three more weeks. Yeah, three more weeks left before I'm done, and then I have the OVA, the the two OVA. So eight more weeks, my eight or ten more. Mm -hmm. I don't know, two, four, six, eight, ten, five more weeks, five, four, four or five more weeks before I'm done with the show overall. But still, oh my god, like, I miss Mocha now, my darkness, my Alice, like, oh my god, it's gonna feel a little weird not to have her in the show anymore, but I think she is gonna come back. I mean, to introduce her and to not really have her come back for the rest of the show or either the OVAs or even season three when season three comes out sometime next year. I'm hoping for spring because the freaking, um, the team, the, oh my God, I forgot the name of the show because Sarami, freaking Aoyama Blue Mountain is in that show too. It's the teenage, um, teenage romance season three. It's the final season. I'm waiting for that show and I can't wait because I'm probably going to rewatch it. But it was so cute. It was just heartwarming to say goodbye to her and I didn't want her to go. She could have stayed. She could have got a job at the cafe with the girls hung out with Aoyama every single day, possibly, like, would have really asked her, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Literally, she could have, oh, hold up, wait, I know that art style, I know that art style, oh my god, what is the fucking name, I know the name, I know the name, I just can't remember it, oh my god, <laughs> it's, um, Oh my, oh my god, 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 because like one of my other favorite voice actors is in that show. Um, oh, 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 oh fuck, what is it? Ah, I know, wait, I just don't remember right now. You know what? No, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Yep, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. We're gonna type in Overlord real quick, <laughs> and we're gonna find her name. And we're gonna look, cause she's in that damn show. She plays like one of my other favorite girls. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god! I'm gonna say what I always have to say in a minute. God damn it! I spelled it. No, I spelled it right, but I didn't do fucking anime. Like shit. <laughs> but she could have stayed there. I think it would have been really nice to have her in like so many other episodes and stuff, and just to hang out with everyone, be friends have her own job, you know, her own room and stuff, like, it sucks really bad that, I mean, she's gonna come back. There, there's no way in hell that they're gonna introduce this character in two episodes and then 
be like, okay, boot her off. We don't see her again. And then that's it. What is her name? What is her name? Da, da, da. Senran Kagra. That's what that was. It took me several minutes. Three minutes, two minutes to figure out Senran Kagra. That's that art style. But, I, I mean, she's just so freaking cute. And it's just gonna be so weird, literally, not to have her for the rest of, like, the last six episodes. So, I mean, I do hope that in, like, maybe the last maybe two or three episodes, she does possibly come back if she doesn't i like dreadfully she's gonna be in that ova because i think one of the ovas is titled something about a sister um i think like dear my sister or something so that could be about both her and kohua possibly i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah i can't wait to see more of my darkness my alice like in this show with my favorite voice actors Sarami, you know, Kaede and stuff, and then Ronko and everyone else. It's, mm, it's gonna be so good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 5 and 6 of season 2 of Is the Order a Rabbit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys!